Hello, and before we start the Christmas quiz, quickly grab everyone together, whether it's your friends, your family, your workmates, the cat, the dog, whoever, anyone that wants to take part in the quiz. There are a few things you might want to keep in mind. There will be 30 questions with the answers at the end. Some of these questions will have multiple answers, so space-wise, you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, also, there will be approximately 30 seconds for each question. There will be a timer. Some questions you'll have longer, and if you need even longer than that, just simply pause the video. Simples. And this isn't essential, this is just a preference of mine. I think there should be a prize. It's not too late to pause this video to get something together, even if you're all bunging in a fiver each for the prize. I always like to have something to play for, but that's just my personal preference. So as I said, 30 questions, answers at the end. Let's begin. Question one, how many ghosts are there in A Christmas Carol? So how many ghosts are there in A Christmas Carol? That's question number one. Question two, what is Santa called in Germany? So what is Santa called in Germany? Questions three and four are dingbats, which by the way are visual clues. Now these dingbats will lead you to a classic Christmas carol. So for questions three and four, what are these dingbat Christmas carols? You'll see on the screen as well, I have given you an example uh, to give you an idea of what a dingbat is. Question five, who is famous for saying, God bless us, everyone? I don't know why I've put on a British accent. I am British, but I don't know. They're always exaggerating in films and television. So who is famous for saying, God bless us, everyone? So where were you for the last 30 years? The North Pole. Can you pass the maple syrup, please? I, I didn't put it. It's spaghetti. You know what? I think I have something. Yes. You like sugar, huh? Is there sugar and syrup? Yes. Then yes! We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. What are the four main food groups according to Buddy the Elf? You'll get a point for each correct answer.
banned Christmas carols after the English Civil War in 1647. Question 8. Can you name the Christmas film from this piece of the film poster? Good King Wenceslas, good, good King Wenceslas, it's on the screen, okay? On what feast day did he look out? Question number nine. Question 10. According to the 2018 Christmas number one hit by Lad Baby, what was this city built on? Eleven, can you name the city where Santa is delivering his presents? Jack, Jack, Dick. It's a friendly, it's a friendly. Okay, well, First question, top eight answers on the board. Going to the toilet. <laughs> anyway, we asked 100 people, one hand behind oh. your backs, we asked 100 people to name a film that always seems to turn up at Christmas. Jack. We have question 12. This was taken from an actual episode of Family Fortunes back in 1990. In America, I think you call it Family Feuds. I may be wrong, apologies if so. Uh, but anyway, a hundred people were asked to name a film that is always shown on the television at Christmas time. So a hundred people were asked to name a film that is always shown on the television at Christmas time. Bearing in mind this aired in 1990, so do not mention any films past that year. What you have to do is come up with five of the top eight answers. So I'm looking for five of the top eight answers and you'll get a point for each correct answer.
Question 13, what alcohol is added to lemonade to make a snowball? So that is, what alcohol is added to lemonade to make a snowball? With question 14, let me look at my notes just to make sure I'm getting this right. Using the carol, the 12 days of Christmas, add the swans are swimming with the lords are leaping and then take away the French hens. What number are you left with? So using the carol, the 12 days of Christmas, add the number of swans are swimming with the number of lords are leaping and take away the number of the French hens hens and what number are you left with? Halfway there with question 15, can you name the movie from this snippet of the film poster? Next question, which scientist known for his laws of motion was born on Christmas Day in 1642? So which scientist known for his laws of motion was born on Christmas Day 1642? Seventeen, can you name the city where Santa is delivering his presents? screen you will see the word sonic gas knowledge this is an anagram of which famous christmas song so the words sonic gas knowledge if you rearrange those letters it's an anagram of which classic song Question 19, which gift did Harry Potter receive for his first Christmas at Hogwarts? So what gift did Harry Potter receive for his very first Christmas at Hogwarts? Question 20, can you name the company or product that is being advertised in this picture? So can you name the company or product that is being advertised in this picture? Question 
Question 21. What was the last Beatles Christmas number one? So that is, what was the last Beatles Christmas number one? Twenty-two. What first went on sale as Smithy's Smith's bonbons? Question twenty-two. What first went on sale as Smith's bonbons? So, what first went on sale named as Smith's bonbons? Twenty-three, can you name the Christmas film from this section of the film poster? Question 24. Which of Santa's reindeer shares its name with an electrical retailer? So which of Santa's reindeer shares its name with an electrical retailer? Question 25, can you name the product or company being advertised in this picture? Question 26. In which fictional land is it always winter but never Christmas? So in which fictional land is it always winter but never Christmas? Twenty-seven. Which actor, born on Christmas Day in 1899, said the famous line, Here's looking at you, kid. That was a terrible accent. I can do better. Which actor, born on Christmas Day in 1899, said the line, Here's looking at you, kid. And that was even worse than the first time. Twenty-eight. Which famous author wrote the Father Christmas Letters? So which famous author wrote the Father Christmas Letters? <laughs> Twenty-nine. Teaches a Sultan is an anagram of which Christmas movie? So teaches a Sultan, if you rearrange those letters, it makes an anagram of which Christmas movie?
final question, which of Santa's reindeer has a name that means lightning in German? So this is your final question, which of Santa's reindeer has a name that means lightning in German? And those are your 30 questions. So what you need to do now, if you are in different teams, swap your papers. It's always interesting when other teams can see your answers so they realise how much they sucked. Uh, but yeah, so you switch them around and whilst you're quickly doing that, I will say a lot of time was put into this quiz. Uh, also recording, editing. Don't get me wrong, it's an absolute pleasure. I love doing it. Uh, but if you could just pass it around, share it on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, it would mean a lot to me. It really would. So let's do these answers then. Number one, how many ghosts are there in A Christmas Carol? It was four. I know you're probably thinking three, but don't forget that the business partner was a ghost as well. Uh, question two, what is Santa called in Germany? Is Kris Kringle? Three, these dingbats visual clues, they led you to A Christmas Carol. What were they? Uh, three was Away in a Manger. Four was We Three Kings. Five, who is famous for saying, God bless us, everyone. It was, of course, Tiny Tim. Uh, I showed you a clip. What were the four main groups according to Buddy the Elf? And a point for each correct answer. There was candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. Seven, who banned Christmas carols after the English Civil War in 1647? It was Oliver Cromwell. Uh, number eight, could you name the Christmas movie from this piece of the poster? It was Scrooged. Great film, absolutely love Bill Murray, I really do. Uh, number nine, in the carol, Good King Wenceslas. On what feast day did he look out? It was the feast of Stephen. I will try not to sing again, but no promises. Uh, number 10, according to the 2018 UK Christmas number one from Lad Baby, what was this city built on? Sausage rolls, of course it was. Um, can you name the city where Santa is delivering his presents? That's number 11, it was Cambridge. Um, number 12, it was taken from an actual Family Fortunes Christmas special in 1990. A hundred people were named to ask a film that always pops up on the telly at Christmas time. I asked you to guess five of the top eight answers, a point for each correct answer. So a point if you got Wizard of Oz, White Christmas, A Christmas Carol, The Sound of Music, The Snowman, The Great Escape, <laughs> Escape uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, almost said that wrong, and Mary Poppins. So a point for each correct answer. Number 13, what alcoholic drink is added to lemonade to make a snowball? Is Advocate. Uh, 14, using the carol, the 12 days of Christmas. You had to add the swans are swimming, there's seven of them, with the lords are leaping, 10, and then take away the French hens, three. What number were you left with? It was 14. And if I have got that simple maths wrong, I will never live that down. I'm pretty sure it's 14. Uh, 15, can you name the Christmas movie from this piece of the poster? It is probably my ultimate favorite Christmas film. Yeah, I think so. Christmas Vacation, probably my favorite Christmas film of all time. 16, which scientist famous for his laws of motion was born on Christmas day, 1642. It was Isaac Newton. I need a drink, my mouth is going dry. <laughs> um, can you name the city where Santa is delivering his presents? It was Liverpool. Sonic Gas Knowledge is an anagram of which Christmas song? Good King Wenceslas. Can't believe I have to say that again. Uh, what present did Harry Potter receive for his first Christmas at Hogwarts? It was an invisibility cloak. Uh, 20, could you name the company or product being advertised in the picture? It was, of course, Toys R Us. Rest in peace, we miss you, we really do. Uh, what was the last Beatles Christmas number one? It was Hello Goodbye. 22, what first went on sale as Smith's Bonbons? Which I think is a totally better name. It was Christmas Crackers. 23, can you name the Christmas movie based on the poster? It was Four Christmases. 
Uh, which of Santa's reindeer shares its name with an electrical, sorry, with an electrical retailer? It's Comet. Uh, can you name the company or product being advertised? It's Aldi. Uh, I assume that's in other countries as well. I apologise if it's just the UK. I'm really not sure. Uh, in which fictional land is it always winter but never Christmas? It's Narnia. Which actor born on Christmas Day in 1899 said the famous line, Here's looking at you, kid. Just can't do it. Uh, it is Humphrey Bogart. Uh, which famous author wrote the Father Christmas Letters? It was J.R.R. Tolkien. Tolkien? Oh, he's such a cool figure. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Teachers a Sultan is an anagram of which Christmas movie? It's the Santa Claus. And finally, which of Santa's reindeer has the name that means lightning in German? Those are your answers. Thank you so much for bearing with me for what is uh, quite a long video, so it really does mean a lot. If you could subscribe, like, comment below, it means even more. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.